What's going on, folks? This is Ty. I'm out here in the Gulf of Mexico doing some trolling. Um, I want to talk to y'all today about trolling. How many rods? I want to talk to y'all today about trolling. How many rods and how we do it. Well, I generally bring two rods with me, three at the absolute most. Two, two today and a Sabiki handline. And um, I bring... Uh-oh, something playing with that? The 6,000, I bring a 5,000 or 6,000 pin battle two combo. This is my 6,000, it's got 50 pound braid and my 5,000s all have 30 pound braid. But this is the best bang for the buck. I think this whole combo is in the $160 arena. Just a great bang for the butt, buck. And uh, if you don't wanna spend that kind of money, you can even downgrade to the, the uh, what is it, the Fierce Two, the same thing in a Fierce Two. Uh, that sucker's like, I don't know, 90, 80, 90, and then they have, I think the Pursuit, it's like 60, so you can get the same thing, just downgraded and bearings and stuff, and to me, they, they all work fantastic. I use the, the Fierce 2 combos for my guide service, works great. So I've got a live bait back here on my Hobie 2, because that's a stout connection to the boat, right? And I've got a big live bait on that trolling. Over here, I've got, once again, Battle 2 rod, but I've got a Fierce 2 reel on it, and I've got 20 pound braid here, and this is a rig that I can cast. I can throw uh, spoons and gotcha plugs at uh, Spanish or whatever, but it's still got enough backbone to where I can troll it. Right now, I'm trolling a big rattle trap. So you wanna have a little bit of spread, so what I do is I stick this in here, that up underneath that seat like that and it locks it in that way I've got one rod out wide one rod out straight back and that does pretty good I don't ever get cross tangle unless I put a hard tail and he's swimming all over the place but um of course you can get nice trolling mounts behind you that are super stout you know they go out you can mount them up here I've got some some yak attack gear tracks where I can put a, a nice tube out front but um, this does pretty good for me because I'm always grabbing this rod and throwing it anyway. Uh, that's my main troller right back there. That's what does all the damage. So yeah, one to two rods, live bait, and I usually keep a lure on my second rod. And that's how we troll in the Gulf of Mexico, but you didn't hear that from me. Oh yeah, a little bit more about my trolling rig. Um, I'll do some incidentals. Five dollar box from Walmart. Keeps my phone it floats it's, it's waterproof this thing works great I pull my phone out do a post put it back in fantastic I'll put the uh, the name of this fish bag I think it's called the fish bag it's got a super amount a thick amount of foam in it keeps fish uh, frozen for a long time I keep three or four water bottles frozen last all day of course my fish grip up front my Hobiamas Mate, that just makes this skinny Revo a huge boat offshore. Love it. I took a wave over the bow coming out and the Amas just stabilized me. If I'd have been in the skinny old Revo, I may or may have not busted through that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for trolling. Got my Cast King back there, a bunch of lures. And that's pretty much it. So one to two rods we troll, go back toward the beach, catch our bait with some beaky rigs come back out troll lose all their baits go back and repeat That's pretty much it don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like we'll catch y'all next time right here on tips with time 30 miles out what